The Anthropocene refers to the contemporary geological epoch in which humans have become the dominant force altering the planet. So today we move more than twice the earth and soil than all of the oceans, rivers, uh, seas and lakes combined together. We consume more than 400 years of planetary biomass per day as fossil fuel. So the numbers are astonishing. And these are consequences of our actions of human-induced change. This is what the Anthropocene is. Change, and by change I mean um, nature, I mean environmental change, I mean climate change, rise of sea levels. Things are happening so fast around us that architecture is finding it very, very difficult to cope with this. So, for instance, when we had Superstorm Sandy in New York um, and the, a very fast raise of sea level, um, architecture proved to be inefficient in these cases. When we are losing now very important islands or whole archipelagos are being swallowed by the rise of sea level in the Pacific, these people are left homeless because, of course, architecture is not being able to cope with such uh, fast or quick change. How can we redesign or reconceptualize the practice or the field of architecture and all the related fields such as landscape architecture, urban planning, policy making? How can we redesign or reconceptualize these things in order to cope with faster environmental change, with faster things happening around us? So what I'm trying to do is to create this transdisciplinary network of, of people and research agendas and museums and foundations <clears throat> who somewhat or somehow share this common interest, which is basically to say that there's a lot of people out there already trying not to solve problems because we clearly don't know how to solve them yet. Uh, they are happening too quickly and uh, they are too big for us to solve them right now. But what, they are, what these people are trying to do, and that's why I think it's so important to talk about them is that they are trying to reveal through their practice or their research um, to reveal um, these massive environmental and climate changes or geological changes that are happening around us as we speak. Um, so basically um, this, this network that I'm trying to create um, hopefully will then um, permeate um, research and art and architectural agendas such as um, the future architecture platform, I think.